There's a new version of Rough Animator out, version 2.09. If you're curious about what's new, I'll go over those changes on today's episode of the Expat Animator. Okay, so as you'll see that when I open up the software, I get this pop-up. And if you don't get the pop-up, you might have to come over here to help and click on check for updates. And that'll bring up that software update window. And so you'll see here, we've got a new version available, uh, version 2.09, and I'm running version 2.08. And let's look at the release notes. So there's three things that we can see here. We've got multiple audio layers. And I think that's a big one. I've actually had a lot of people ask me about that in the comments. If Rough Animator has the ability to bring in multiple audio layers. So I'm curious to take a look at that. We've got use audio from imported video files. That's interesting. And then some bug fixes. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. Let's just show you real quick. I am running version 2.08. So let's go ahead and install the update. And it looks like it's about 10 megabytes and we're ready to relaunch. So I should be running 2.09 now. It looks like I am. And I'm gonna just go ahead and get started here. Let's create a new project. So at first look, uh, things look about the same to me as version 2.08. So let's go ahead and import some audio and let's see if we can bring in more than one audio file. So I've got two test files here. Let's bring in the first one and you can see it automatically shows us the waveform. So that's um, pretty cool. So I'm just going to come back here. It's only two seconds long. And let me just play this real quick. This is my audio test number one. This is my audio. So that's all that it says. And it's going on its own audio layer uh, that looks like we can move it around and we can. So that's cool. That's different than before. And it looks like I may even be able to rename this uh, if I wanted to. It looks like I can. So let's say I just want to call this um, A01 for audio 01. Okay, now let's see if we can bring in the next audio layer. So import audio. Let's bring in the second one. And there it is. Let me rename it real quick. 02. And now if I play this, it's probably going to play on both at the same time. Let's just give it a try. This, this is, is my, my audio, audio test, test number two. One. Okay. So yeah, we actually don't want that. Uh, but it looks like we can move these around, which is great. I mean, this is really cool. So what I want to do is move this so that they're not overlapping it. And so let's just try and drag it. And it lets us do that. So that's cool. I was thinking we were going to have to add some frames to the front of this. So... Let's just move that over right around there somewhere. I'll zoom out on my timeline real quick here. And let's play that and listen to those. This is my audio test number one. This is my audio test number two. This is my... So that's great. I'm actually really happy about this. And I think there's going to be a lot of people out there that are going to like that because I've been seeing people requesting this feature. So can I bring in a third audio file? Let's give it a try. And right now, before I bring this in, I've got my marker here on the first frame. Let's go see if I move it, if it will import the audio file to where that is or not, or if it just brings it to the front. Let's go ahead and drop it on second number two here on that frame. And let's go ahead and bring in our third audio file. So it just brings it in at the front here, but that's fine because we can easily just drag it to wherever we want it. So let me do something like that. Uh, horizontal zoom. And let's go ahead and play this one more time. This is my audio test number one. This is my audio test number two. This is my audio test number three. So I don't know how many layers of audio we can do, but at, at least we know we can do at least three. So I'm thinking you can bring in as many as you can that your RAM would support. Uh, because I didn't see any things saying otherwise. But if anybody does some tests with this and they find out, oh, you can only bring in 10 audio layers or something, let me know in the comments because um, I haven't had time to experiment with that yet. So I'm just importing an image of a screenshot of the rough animator changes so that we have this as a reference. So let me just place that on my canvas here. And let's take a look. 
So I'll just put a little check there. That one worked great. Uh, let's look at the second one. Use audio from imported video files. So let's go ahead and bring in a video file with some audio uh, on top of these three audio layers and let's see what happens. So let's go ahead and import some video. And I've got a quick little clip here of a hot air balloon that we're going to import. And, and you'll be able to hear the, the fire from the hot air balloon in this video clip. So let's see what that does with the audio when this is done importing. Okay, so we actually get two layers. So we've got the video layer that's broken down into frames. And then we've got the audio layer, which you can see as another layer. And they both got the same name. So that's interesting. And uh, it looks like I can, I can even move the audio different from the video here. So that's interesting. Let me undo that. Well, maybe I can't undo that. Let's bring that back here by hand. Okay. And I'm going to turn off the audio on the first layer here because uh, actually on both of those. Let's just go ahead and play this. Let me zoom out a little bit. And let's hit play. So it does need to render a little bit. This is my audio test number three. So it will play the audio along with that third uh, audio layer that I kept on. So that's interesting. I actually really like that. You can bring in a video clip with its own audio and Rough Animator is going to actually separate those out into two different layers, audio and video tracks. So that's cool. And if I wanted to, I could actually draw on top of this balloon layer here with the videos. Um, but what instead, what I would probably rather do is I would come up to modify layer and I would actually hit duplicate layer timing to blank drawings. And that's going to give me a whole new layer here with blank frames to draw on top of. So let's just uh, show you real quick here. Let me grab like a yellow here and grab my pen here and I'm just going to do a quick drawing on top of that and then I'll use my right arrow key to go to the next frame. And so I'm kind of doing a little quick rotoscoping job on this. And it should give me a little bit of an animation effect. So let me just uh, fast forward and do a few of these so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm done. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to turn that last layer of audio off. And I'm going to set my end frame of playback at 104 just to, so that it'll stop. See how it get gray here? It's going to stop and loop at that point instead of going all the way to the end here. And let's go ahead and play this. So that's pretty cool uh, and it works pretty well. Um, just remember to save your work when you're doing something like this, but I didn't have any crashes doing that. And you know, that was, that was over a hundred frames of adding a little bit of rotoscoping on top of the video. So I've got, you know, two layers of animation and four layers of audio in this, in this file right now. So I'm very happy with what I'm seeing here. Let's go ahead and look at the original uh, information here. Let me grab my red here. Audio for video files. That worked great. And in the bug fixes, I don't really know um, specifically what those are. But I would say that so far, this has been a great update for Rough Animator. Uh, if I find any bugs with this, uh, I'll let you know. But if you need any of these features, you might want to go ahead and just update to 2.09 right now. Let me know if you find any bugs in this new release in the comments, and I'll take a look at those when I get a chance. That's about it for today. My name is Patrick Davidson. This has been another episode of the Expat Animator. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you next time. 
If you found today's video helpful, you might like some of my animation classes over at Skillshare.com. I'll put the link in the description below.